okay uh, the third topic that we have taken today is cheetah reintroduction it was also in uh, uh, in news a lot right uh, prime minister modi prime minister narendra modi he introduced reintroduced cheetahs into india on his birthday that is 17th of september and we are going to take up so this is the magnificent animal that we are looking at cheetah right uh, it, it should not be confused with the big cats the first thing that i'm going to tell you that cheetah is not one of the big cats okay cheetah is from the felidae family felidae family means the family that is of cat family right it is a cat but it is not a big cat right big cats the if we look about the at the big cats lion is a big cat uh tiger is a big cat leopard is a big cat jaguar is a big cat but cheetah is not a big cat okay it is not from the big cat genus if we talk very specifically about the biological uh, biology or zoology so it is not from the genus of big cats it definitely shares the family of cat felidae but it is not from the big cat family okay i hope you understood that the modi indian pm uh, i took this snapshot from bbc a uh, modi indian pm introduces extinct extinct cheetahs on birthday now very important you can clearly see this cheetah is a, such a magnificent mammal uh, it is of course a mammal it is an animal right but it is of course a mammal as well so cheetah you can clearly see the architecture of the the bodily architecture of this animal has been designed to speed up to pace to fast right why you can clearly see very long legs very long legs as compared to its body this these long legs give it a very larger jump of around 7 meters as well it can jump up to 7 meters and the legs the whole body is very lean unlike lions lions have a heavy bulky body its body is very lean the waist area is very lean very slim but the lungs the part of the lung is very big as compared to the waist area you can clearly see that means uh, it it can take a lot of oxygen inside its lungs that is what is going to help the cheetah in running very fast it can go up to 130 km per hour okay so this cheetah uh these are the cheetah that has been reintroduced into india you can clearly see a collar around around their neck they all have been collared so that they can be traced because they are new to this ecosystem right so background uh the fact is the fact is this is not indian or asiatic cheetah there existed indian cheetahs and in large numbers they there existed indian cheetahs or asiatic cheetahs in india and in large numbers and they were actually used by the kings or maharajas at that time as their hunters like dogs they they were chained and they were kept with the kings as hunters right so and the last one of the cheetah in india was killed in 1948 right but a sighting was seen around 1950s but 90 in 1952 cheetah were declared extinct in india right so asiatic cheetah has been declared extinct in india this cheetah is african cheetah it has been brought from namibia right let's look at some of the background until 20th century the asiatic cheetah were quite common quite common and they roamed across the peninsula from india straight to like arabian peninsula they were in india afghanistan pakistan right iran of saudi arabia and other all these places as well that means african cheetah were very common actually and they had a great span length but in india in india also they were very common but all of them were like killed for killed as trophies in the games games means hunting right so they were actually killed the last asian cheetah died in india in 1947 in 1952 cheetah was declared extinct in the wild in 2000 scientists from ccmb hyderabad okay ccmb is a lab cellular microbiology lab it is in hyderabad proposed to reintroduce cheetahs from iran but iran refused iran is having around 40 asiatic cheetahs 
but Iran refused even cloning them because CCMB wanted to clone them and bring them to India. But uh, CC, uh, Iran actually refused any such kind of cloning even, let alone giving the cheetahs to India. So what happened was that proposal was shelved. Since then the focus is on African cheetahs, bringing African cheetahs in India. In 2019, India translocated 20 cheetahs from Namibia and kept them in Noradehi National Park in Madhya Pradesh. Right, but they were again translocated back. Now, but now they have been brought back to India again for the permanent residence. Okay, so these cheetahs will stay in India as permanent residents. Okay, they have now been uh, introduced into Kuno Palpur uh, National Park in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. The Wildlife Institute of Dehradun has been roped in an expert group for the this whole product of uh, project of cheetah introduction in India. About cheetahs, as I told, cheetah is a magnificent animal. You can look at this. The you can clearly see that leap. It is around four to five meters. Okay, you can clearly see that the body has been specifically aerodynamically designed to keep that animal very fast. Now with that speed also comes vulnerabilities. If someone runs very fast, they are not going to run for very long. And that is actually very true in the real life as well. It is important that we run fast. It is very important that we run fast. But it is also important that we run at such a capacity that we can run for longer period of time. Since it can run very fast, but it does not, it cannot run for very long. Its speed is its curse and its boom as well that is why it hunts it hunts in open areas where it can clearly see its target okay on the other hand for example if you take lion or tiger they cannot run very fast they can certainly run fast but they cannot run very fast okay that is why tigers and lions hunt in areas where there are tall grasses where they can hide themselves from the predator from their prey and they attack when they reach very close to the prey but in case of cheetah it chases the prey okay it chases the prey and it tires it down with its own speed and then it hunts it so that is the basic difference between cheetah and the other big cats big cats do not run very fast and but they can run for a very long period of time moreover they hide themselves they hide themselves in the longer bushes and they they plan the they plan to kill their prey by getting very close to it that is a major difference between cheetah and the other cats they 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 are they are hideous cheetah is not hideous it is directly attacking okay and one more important point is cheetah can sometimes be hunted by tigers and lions as well because it is not very strong right so i hope you understood a very basic quality about cheetah now cheetahs are not from the big cat family as i told Okay. They, are, they are not from genus Panthera, like Panthera tigris is the name or scientific name of tiger. Okay. Panthera leo is the scientific name of lion. Average life of cheetah in wild is around 12 years. Average age is around 12 years. Males have lesser average age because of the territorial conflicts that these males have within themselves, right, which leads to them getting killed. It is around 8 years. Cheetahs exhibit sexual dimorphism. It is a very important term. UPSC has asked a lot of questions many times about sexual dimorphism. She sexual dimorphism means uh, the difference between the sexes like males and females. There is a difference between male and female. We, one can clearly tell that difference looking at the body. Right? Like males have uh, the, the, the bone density of males is high. The, the male body architecture is different from the female body architecture, right? That may, that is called sexual dimorphism. That specific thing is called that that specific thing is called sexual dimorphism. There are many species which do not exhibit sexual dimorphism. That is one cannot tell by looking at that species that if it is a male or a female. Okay? That, that is called lack of sexual dimorphism. But cheetahs clearly exhibit sexual dimorphism. The males are taller. The male's head is larger as compared to the female. Right. But it is also not very prominent as compared to the lions. 
in loins for example the sexual dimorphism is very prominent like they have the their hair the male will have their hair around their chin okay and uh, the females will not have that the size of females is very smaller as compared to males but in cheetah sexual dimorphism exists but not so prominent right cheetahs unlike lions and tigers are diurnal see uh, there is again a conflicting statement diurnal means those animals which hunt during the day right cheetah it is not that cheetah cannot look into night it can definitely see during the night as well but it does not hunt during night it basically hunts during the day it is that is why it is called diurnal whereas lions and tigers mostly hunt during the nights mostly hunt during the nights because they take the benefit of the cover that the night provides in form of darkness because they cannot run very fast they will have to hide themselves from the prey and then they attack it on the other hand cheetahs chase the target chase their prey and kill it that is why they hunt during the days basic even lions or tigers are actually they do hunt during the days as well they they are not completely the uh, nocturnal but they mostly they prefer to hunt during the nights they have black spots which are different from those of leopards and tigers that is one very distincting feature that is one very distincting feature that separates that separates cheetah from leopard or tiger you can clearly see these are rosettes these are rosettes of leopard and these are the black spots of cheetah the rosettes of leopard are open the rosettes of the the dark spots of cheetah are solid dark spots that is one of the major difference between the cheetah and any other see lion will not have any kind of dark spots cheetah jaguar or uh, leopard will have such kind of dark spots but for cheetah it is a solid black dark spot whereas for leopards or jaguars or for uh, tigers this kind of rosettes will be there this kind of rosettes will be there that means a closed open open closed rosette okay so that is the, one of the major distinguishing feature between a leopard and a cheetah right body adapted for faster speed and lesser length chase they cannot chase for very long because they are very high speed their tear marks help them during the day hunt again it was actually a question in upsc few years back in around 2013 i believe that the question asked uh, they the in the question the specifics of a specific animal were given right these are called tear marks these are called tear marks and these tear marks come from eye to their nose these tear marks come from their eyes to their nose these tear marks give them telescopic vision that is a very important point because they are hunting during the day and these tear marks this darkness around their eyes helps them ref absorb a lot of light that is coming into their eyes okay and that makes their eyes function like binoculars which deflects a lot of light and only focuses on the very important light that is from coming from the prey so that is also a very huge adaptive property given by nature to the cheetahs theek hai their tear marks help them during the day hunt and their habitat as you can clearly see this is their habitat their habitats are open areas open areas with smaller grass with smaller grass because they do not have to hide themselves they have to chase if the the, the bushes are tall they cannot chase for a long period uh, of course for not they cannot chase their prey can hide right so they need open savanna this is open savanna of uh, this photo i took from it is from south africa uh, namibia i believe so this this kind of this kind of sorry this kind of right this kind of area this kind of open land area is their hunting ground so they live in these open hunting grounds and sometimes this leads to their they being killed by other predators like tigers or lions as well and cheetahs are very great climbers actually they when they hunt they, they primarily hunt gazelles or uh, deer okay and when they hunt they climb up the trees so that it can protect its prey from the other um, hunters like hyenas 
or hunters hyenas are basically not hunters they we can call them scavengers but still lions tigers okay so they usually climb up the tree and they have their meal up the tree right so this is about cheetah right are you seeing of cheetahs this is the most important point now you can clearly see we have imported this kind this cheetah this is african cheetah this is asiatic cheetah you can clearly see african cheetah sorry african cheetah is having a more brighter color whereas asiatic cheetah that is in iran now it is having more pale color right more lighter color right because in this this cheetah resides in uh, in basically desert kind of areas okay so it will have to camouflage itself by lighter color whereas this cheetah lives in more bushy area so it will have to it will have to have such kind of color which it can use to hide itself now african cheetah is vulnerable IUCN African cheetah there are around 7000 cheetahs individual cheetahs in the wild and it is listed as vulnerable whereas asiatic cheetah has been listed as critically endangered with around only 40 to 50 individual cheetahs in the wild and all of them are only present in iran sites sites means convention on international trade in endangered species under appendix 1 appendix 1 means it it cannot be traded it can be traded but there are certain limitations actually the the, uh, the species that are put in appendix 1 of the sites see sites is not putting any kind of limitation it is it is mandating that a the country legislates a domestic law which enforces that the trading of cheetahs their trophy their parts is prohibited right so it is under appendix one of sites that is if india wants to make a law so it will have to follow the sites guidelines for appendix one animals or species and appendix one species any kind of trade for commercial purposes is not allowed right the export quotas have however have been granted to some countries botswana have been granted five namibia 150 and zimbabwe 50 export quotas have been granted for live animal only for live animal right under that export quota only it has been imported into india and for wpa 1972 it it is put under schedule one that means of highest protection right we know that for schedule one very important point is either the animal should be critically endangered or very highly vulnerable right or it should be a top predator that those animals are put in schedule one so I hope you understood this whole important point about um, the cheetahs and how these cheetahs are being introduced into the Kuno Palpur uh, National Park. Uh, if you have any questions about this, if you have any kind of doubt about this, if you did not understand anything of it, kindly comment in the comment section. I will be taking those up in the next lecture.